welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this lecture we continue studying at sandhi or vowel sandhi we have stated that there are two classifications in at sandhi the first one being ekasthanik ekadesha where there is one substituent and one substitute ek sthani ek adesha we have already studied this classification and its two instances in detail the two instances of this first classification are yan sandhi and ayavayav sandhi yan sandhi is stated by the sutra eko yanachi ayavayav sandhi is stated by the sutra echo yavayavah we have studied both these sutras in detail we also applied the uddeshya vidhaya bhav and anudit savarnasya cha pratyayah we also studied the template examples of these instances we also studied the concrete specific examples of both these instances these examples were found at different levels inside a pada or between two padas we also noted while we studied this first classification that some of the examples are artificial now this is the second classification dvisthanika ekadesha this is what we are studying currently dvisthanika ekadesha this means two substituents and one substitute dvisthanika and ek adesha in this dvisthanika ekadesha the main part is played by the sutra which is an adhikara sutra ekah purva parayoho 6184 where ekah means one substitute and purva parayoho means in place of previous and latter sound one substitute takes place in place of two sounds previous and latter diagrammatically this can be shown in this following manner where you have a followed by b in the close proximity in the samhita mode and we can say that a comes immediately before b and b comes immediately after a so you have a plus b now one of the rules in this section 6184 up to 61112 applies and then this a and b in place of both of them c comes as a substitute so a plus b is the substituent c is the substitute a and b these are the sthanis c is the adesha a plus b is the input and c is the output generated by the sutra in this particular section there are five instances of this dvisthanika ekadesha the first one is guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad guna 6187 and we have studied this before the second instance is vriddhi sandhi stated by the sutra vriddhi rechi mainly and this is 6188 and we are currently studying this vriddhi sandhi we have already studied the sutra vriddhi rechi we also studied the uddeshya vidhaya bhav and the sutra anudit savarnasya cha pratyayah and its application and then the template examples and then the concrete specific examples examples at various levels within a pada between two padas within a compound or between dhatu and upasarga 
The third instance is Pararupa Sandhi stated by the Sutra Engi Pararupam 6.194. The fourth instance of this Dvisthanika Ekadesha is Sabarna Dirgha Sandhi stated by the Sutra Akas Sabarne Dirgha 6.1. 101. And the fifth instance of this Dvisthanika Ekadesha is Urvarupa Sandhi, stated by the Sutra Amipurvaha onwards. Amipurvaha is 61107. Right now we are focused on Vruddhi Sandhi and we have already studied Vruddhi Rechi and Vruddhi Rechi 6188 means in the close proximity when immediately before H and H is A, O, I and O. The Pratyahara H covers Sutra number 3 and 4 in the Pratyahara Sutras. So the Sutra means once again in the close proximity when immediately before H that is A, O, I, O or short and long appears, then in place of both of them comes the substitute termed Vruddhi. Vruddhi means A, I and O. This is stated by Vruddhi Radha H 1.1.1. To put it in the form of an equation, we can say that A plus H are in close proximity and 6188 applies and the output generated is Vruddhi. We also noted that H which is the condition for 6188 to apply which is the environment for 6188 to apply is part of the environment called H which is the environment for 6187. This is the overlap of scope of application of these two rules 6187 and 6188. And Six, since 6188 has a limited scope of application which is part of the bigger scope, 6187 does not apply in the scope of 6188 namely H. The reason being that if 6187 applies in the environment of H, 6188 would not get any scope of application and then it becomes redundant and this should not be the case and that is the reason why 6187 does not apply when H is the environment. 6187 does have scope of application elsewhere and that is the reason why 6187 does not apply in the environment of H. We also studied this sutra Engi Pararupam 6194 which means that immediately before a verbal root that begins with Eng, Eng means A and O defined by the sutra number 3 and immediately after a preverb that ends in short or long A then in place of both of them one substitute in the form of the latter takes place. I repeat, immediately before a verbal root that begins with ing and immediately after a preverb that ends in short or long a, uh, in place of both of them, one substitute in the form of the latter, which in this case is ing, takes place. So if we have a preverb ending in a uh, over here, followed by a verbal root which begins with A or O, then 6194 applies and the output generated is A and O in place of A plus A and O. So we have pr which is a preverb followed by ajate which is a verbal form which is having the verbal root age to tremble it begins with A. Now in this case 6194 applies and the output generated is pr, A and jate. So this A replaces both A as well as A. 
So we get the form prejate. Now if we look at this, here we have a followed by a which is the scope of application of 6188. But 6194 restricts this domain further and says that you do not want any a over here, you do not want any a or o over here, this a should be a part of a preverb that is an upasarga and this a or o should be a part of the dhatu or the verbal root. Only then this rule will apply and in this case then 6188 does not apply. So the scope of application of 6194 is upasarga plus dhatu. Upasarga should end in a and dhatu should begin with a and then 6194 applies. This cancels 6188. <clears throat> Why we are studying this right now is because now the other sutras stating the vriddhi substitute we shall study and these sutras they further restrict the domain of engi pararupam and reinforce the vriddhi substitution. And the sutra is ete dhatyut su. 6189. This sutra has got only one pad, Etya su. This is 7 slash 3 of Etya Dhatyut. This has got three components, Eti, which is the verbal form of the verbal root E to go, E Dhati, which is the mention of the verbal root E Dha, and this is the stylistic expression within the Ashtadhyayi. Any verbal root is mentioned in this particular fashion, eti as well as edhati. And then finally, ut. So, etyadhati utsu means immediately before eti, edhati, and ut. The words continued are ad from 6187, ad he 7 slash 1 of H, H is A, O, I and O. So, H -E means immediately before H. Vriddhihi is 1 slash 1 of Vriddhi. Vriddhi means A, I and O and of course, Eka Purva Parayoho, which means one substitute in place of two, the earlier and later substituents. So the meaning of this sutra, Itya Dhatyut Su, is the following. In the close proximity, that is in the Samhita mode, when immediately after a short or long appear, one, the verbal root E to go and the verbal root Edha to increase and most importantly, both beginning with H and finally Ut. Then in place of both of them, one vriddhi substitute takes place. I repeat, in the close proximity, samhita, mode, when immediately after a short or long, at, appear, one, the verbal root e, meaning to go, the verbal root edha, meaning to increase, and most importantly, they both begin with h. And third, ut. Then in place of both of them, one vriddhi substitute takes place. To show this in the form of an equation, we can say that if there is this word at the end of which comes short a, followed by eti or edhati which begin with A, then the substitute would be the elements in the previous word and I in place of A and A and T or Dhate. So the form that we will get is I T or I Dhate. 
Similarly, if you have a word ending in a followed by oot and this oot will occur in a limited, very limited domain and how we shall see soon, but this is how it will work. So, a plus oot, he plus us and in place of a and u, we will have ruddhi substitute namely au and au he us and the output generated will be au has, au ha ha. Here are the examples. So, we have pra as the preverb followed by eti and so then 6 1 89 applies and the output generated is pra aiti praiti. Similarly, pra plus edhate and we have pra ending in a, edhate beginning with a and 6189 applies and the output generated is pra plus i plus dhate prai dhate. Since eti and edhate they both begin with a, 6189 has applied. And finally, when we go to this example where we have a compound Vishwa plus Oot, Her plus Us, this is the accusative dual, accusative plural suffix, Dvitiya Bahu Vachana. And the compounded word is Vishwa Vaha. And we have the sutra Vaha Ut 64132 applying and converting this Va of Vaha into Ut. And so we have Vishwa plus Ut, Ha, Us. And so this A and U, the output is generated by the sutra 6189, namely Vishwa, Au, Ha, Us, Vishwa, Has, Vishwa, Haha. Ut is a specially stated substitute in a restricted environment of vowel beginning suffixes from 2 slash 3 onwards after a nominal root and in place of v which is part of the verbal root vah and which becomes vah over here. And the sutra stating this is vah ut 6 4 1 32. So, let us study this sutra Vaha Ut in little detail. Vaha Ut has got two words in it, two padas, Vaha which is 6 1 of Vaha and Ut which is 1 1 of Ut. The words continued are Bhasya 6 slash 1 of Bh and in this case 6th case means part of because Vaha already has conveyed the meaning of in place of Vaha. Samprasaranam is one one of Samprasarana. So now the meaning of Vaha Ut is Ut is the Samprasarana substitute that play, takes place of V in Vaha which is part of Abha. To repeat Ut is the Samprasarana substitute that takes place of V in Vaha which is part of a Bh and here is the derivation. So, Vishwam Vahati, somebody who carries the world that is the meaning one wants to convey. So, Vishwam Vahati and you have Vishwa Am Vaha Dvi by the Sutra Vahascha 3264 we add the suffix Dvi which changes vaha to vaha, we have supodhatu pratipadika yoho, so am gets deleted and we have this stage, vishva plus vaha, after which we add the accusative plural suffix as. So, vishva plus vaha as a compound and the suffix as. Now comes 64132 to apply. This us suffix causes this entire compound to be called bh. Now, this vah is part of bh, and therefore, v, which comes at the beginning of this vah, 
is substituted by oot by 6 for 132. So, we have now Vishwa plus oot th is a marker by the sutra halantyam and so it gets deleted and that is why it is mentioned in the parenthesis. The actual substitution is u. So, this u and ah, ah is the remaining part of vah, only v consonant gets this u substitute and so you have u ah plus us. Then this u and this a, ah, they have the purva rupa sandhi taking place because of 61108 and so you have vishva plus u plus us. Now at this stage we have 6189 ittya dhatyutsu applying and here you have a followed by ut u and in place of both of them you have the vriddhi substitute namely au. So you have vishva au h as and you get the form vishva u has vishva u ha ha. We shall take a closer look at this purvarupa sandhi when we study Purvarupa Sandhi in detail later on. Right now our focus is Pradhi Sandhi and so in this derivation where you have a followed by u, 6189 applies and in place of both of them you get the substitute au and so we have the form Vishvauhaha derived. This is how Ityadhatyut Su works. Now, if we look at the interrelation of rules, we can say that for 6188, we need a plus h as an environment, as an input, and vriddhi is the output that is generated. For 6194, we need a plus h, yes, but we need a at the end of an upasarga and h at the beginning of a dhatu. And so the output generated will be pararup. Now if you look at 6189, we need a but a as part of the upasarga followed by h yes and that too also of a dhatu yes but only of two dhatus e and edha and the output generated would be vriddhi and not pararup. And so we can say that 6189 reinforces 6188 the vriddhi sandhi by cancelling 6194 because 6194 is the further restricted domain of 6194. This is very important. After having studied these two important sutras about the vriddhi sandhi namely vriddhirechi and ityadhatyutsu let us study some more vartika statements which complete the description of the vriddhi sandhi. The first vartika is akshat uhinyam upasankhyanam which says that when the word aksha in the compound comes immediately before the word uhini then in place of this a and u we have the vriddhi substitute. And once again, the selection of the substitute will be based on the place of articulation. A has got kantha as place of articulation, whose place of articulation is oshtha, and au amongst the three vriddhis, au has got kanthoshtha as the place of articulation. So, au is chosen as the substitute, and we have aksha, au, and hini. So, akshauhini, akshauhini as the word with the vriddhi sandhi taking place. Actually, when a is followed by u, we have 6187 which applies and generates the output in the form of a, but not in the case of this specific word akshauhini. Here, a plus u and the output generated is au, namely the vriddhi. The next vartika is prat uho dho dhe shai shyeshu. Prat uho dho 
dheshaishyeshu here there are two words prat and the second word ohodho dheshaishyeshu ohodho dheshaishyeshu is the seven one of ohodho dheshaishya prat is five one of pr so we have pr immediately followed by uh or udh or udhi or esh or eshya these five words and in place of a plus u we have the vruddhi substitute we have pr plus a a plus a and we have the vruddhi substitute so when we have pr plus u the output generated is pr au pr u similarly pr plus u and the output generated is pr au dh pr u dh pr plus u d and the output generated is pr au d pr u d pr plus a sh and the output generated is pr ai sh pr i sh and finally pr plus a sh and the output generated is pr ai sh pr i sh these are the words that are generated following this particular vartika statement if you look at all the cases you will notice that there are these three cases where you have a plus u and generally 6187 would apply over here and the output generated would be a but that is not the case in these three specific words similarly if you look at the remaining two cases pr plus asha and asha because they are derived from a verbal root and a coming at the beginning of a verbal root and so 6194 would apply and would generate the output of a plus a a plus a as a but that is not the case with these two specific cases so in these five cases 6187 and 6194 do not apply they are cancelled and 6189 applies and vruddhi is the substitute that is stated by this particular statement vartika statement prat ohodho dhe ohodho dhe shaishyeshu the next statement is rute cha tritiya samase rute is 7 slash 1 of rute meaning immediately before rute and tritiya samase is 7 slash 1 of tritiya samasa in the compound with instrumental case the meaning of this statement is in a compound with instrumental case when a word ending in short a appears before the word rute then in place of both of them the one vruddhi substitute takes place so a and ru and we have one substitute namely r so you have a samasa sukhena rutaha this is the statement this is the sentence and these two words are connected together and so we have the alaukika vigraha in the form of sukha plus ta plus ruta plus su by 2132 and then we have supodhatu pratipadika yoho 2471 applying so we have sukha plus rut and now you have this a coming at the end of this pad followed by ru coming at the beginning of rut and now this particular statement applies and in place of this a and ru r that is the vruddhi substitute takes place and we have sukha r and t and that is sukhart how this a and ru gets r as the substitute we have already studied when we studied the sutra urandra paraha so this r is added when an is the substitute in place of ru this is an and so therefore r is added by the sutra urandra paraha and so we get the form sukhart 
In this case, a plus ru, the sutra ad guna 6187 would apply and the output generated would be ar. But not in this specific case, sukharta or any such case where rita is the second member of the trutiya tatpurusha samasa. So this is an exception to 6187 and so it had to be stated by this particular vartika statement. Next we have a statement pravatsatara kambala vasana dasharananam rane. Rane is in 7.1 meaning immediately before rana and all these words pravatsatara kambala vasana and dasharana and dasha and rana. A uh, of all these words and ru of rana, they both are substituted by one r and the output generated is the following. We have pra followed by rana and the output generated is pra arna prarna. What's a tara plus rana? A uh, coming at the end of this pada, ru coming at the beginning of the word rana and so the output generated is what's a tar arna patsatararana. Similarly, kambala pras rana and the output generated by this statement is kambal arna, kambal arna. Vasana plus rana and the output generated is vasan arna vasanarna. Then we have rana plus rana and the output generated is rana arna Rana rana. And finally, dasha plus rana, and we have the output dash arana dasha arana. All these examples, they are exceptions to 6187, which would otherwise generate ar as the substitute. But this statement specifically takes care of these examples in which vruddhi substitute has taken place. To summarize, in this lecture, we studied in detail the other rules related to the Vriddhi Sandhi and we did an exhaustive treatment of all the rules. We also studied remaining part of the examples in details at different levels within a Pada or in between two Padas. We also studied the interrelation of 6187, 88 and 94. We also observed that 6189 has got further smaller domain of application within that of 6194. So 6189 reinforces 6188. After having studied the Vriddhi Sandhi now, we go to the next instance of Dvisthanika Ekadesha, namely the Pararupa Sandhi stated by the Sutra 6194 in the coming lecture. Thank you for your patience.